everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to graph data in sheets so that way you can figure out what order something is. So like this problem, if you're given time versus concentration, you will need to graph the data to figure out the reaction order. And if it's a zero order reaction, then the concentration versus time graph will be linear. So when you graph this, it'll have a linear slope. If it's a first order reaction, when you graph the natural log of concentration versus time, it will be linear. Second order, it'll be one over concentration versus time is linear. Um, but the only way you can figure that out is through graphing because these time intervals are not changing by the same value. So we have to graph this data. To do this, I'm just going to open up a new sheet and label my first column time, second column concentration, and type in my data. So 0, 1,200, 4,500, and so the time is changing by different intervals. So I can't just look at how the concentration um, changes to see if it's consistent or not graph will tell me and my concentration is 0.55 or 0.381, 0 0.340, 0 0.2, 0, 0.174. So you type in your data, put your uh, mouse on A, hit control, click A, keep your finger on control, click B. It should highlight both. You go to insert, chart, and yeah, it gave me a bar graph. I don't want a bar graph, so I'm going to change it to be a scatter plot. I want time to always be x, and our time values are large, so yes, that's my x. Customize, I go to series, trend line, um, show r squared. And then the r squared value is 0.9. And I mean, look at it. These dots do not look very or to have an exact line. It would not be linear. Um, likely not a zero order reaction. Because concentration versus time graph is not linear. Delete this. I'm actually going to rename this zero order. And then I'm just going to duplicate this sheet. So okay, I have a different one. And I'm going to name graph. And for first order reaction, it's the natural log of concentration versus time. So label that. And then this will automatically do the math for you. Sheets will. You have to type in equals, LN, brackets, and then click on the concentration. Close, enter. It'll do it for you. Suggested autofill. Yes, it means it'll do all the values. And so again, you can control A, control C, do insert, chart. It already did it as a scatter chart, which is perfect. Series, trend line, show R squared. This R squared is 0.971, so that's a little bit better. Um, you also, you don't have to do scatter plot. You could do a line. Part, but if I look at that line, that line is not linear. It definitely bends. Um, and so I could figure that out without even looking. Not a straight line. Either is fine. Scatter or line. Um, I don't know. Let's duplicate this and make this one second. Let's check that. Delete this graph. I'm going to delete all this data. And for a second order graph, it's 1 over concentration. And so in here, I'll hit equals 1 over, and again, do parentheses, click on your value, close your parentheses, enter. And it'll do all concentrations for you. Hit control, A, C, insert, chart. Scatter plot, series, customize series. Trend line, show R squared. And this R squared is 0.999. That's pretty good. Um, that is definitely the closest to 1 compared to the other R squared values, 0 0.9, 0 0.97. The graph, you can look at it here. 
it definitely um, looks a lot more linear than the other one did. And so we have our R squared. The other thing, if you click label, it will give you the equation for the line. Um, and the equation is 2.1 e means times 10 to the uh, negative 4x plus 2.01. So the equation for a line, y equals mx plus b. This 2.1 times 10 to the negative 4, that is your slope. And on these graphs, slopes are your k, your rate constant. So now we know our rate constant, which is 2.1 times 10 to the negative, which is also extremely helpful. Um, this graph isn't, but just a reminder, if, let's, sorry, if it was first order, let's say this graph was linear, you're going to have a negative slope. Um, Constants are negative, are never negative. So if this natural logger's concentration was linear and you got the slope, when you are asked what is k or what is your rate constant, and that should say rate constant right there, um, your k value would have to be a positive number. So you would just take the opposite of your slope. If your slope was everything like that, um, if your slope was negative 2, you would say it's 2. I hope this video was helpful. You can get a lot of good information from the graphs as long as you know how to use it.